Hey guys, welcome to part 3. If you're just joining us, I recommend seeing part 1 and 2 before since we're pretty deep into the tutorial. Um, right now, I've added um, a line of code. Uh, view will appear self.tabbarcontroller.tabbar.hidden equals no. And to make that reappear, I've um, made sure this says no and that um, these two are of course yes for um, to make that tab bar disappear. Um, now before the navigation bar when you rotated it was still there and if you need more room or you just don't want the navigation bar there I figured I'd just type this line of code to make it disappear which is self.navigationcontroller.navigationbar.hidden equals yes and I put that for both of these as well um, and that's all I've changed in first view controller.m. In second, I've simply added another will um, will animate rotation to interface orientation, the same as the other one. Only inside this, I put an open bracket self dot navigation controller pop view controller animated no, and um, I also put. Uh, this line which is should auto rotate to interface orientation and I basically just told it don't rotate if you're upside down um, and what that does is when you click build and run you will see um, you see first view same as we had uh, I'm, I'll rotate it left you see navigation and tab bar have disappeared and when I rotate back right, you see the first has once again reappeared. Um, I've lost my navigation bar, so I'll go back to view will appear. And I'll type in self dot navigation controller dot navigation bar dot hidden equals no. And now when I build and go my tab bar should reappear. So now they're both gone. And now they both reappear. And the reason for this is just more space or if you don't want a tab bar, um, something like that. Now if you're not using a tab bar um, template, if you're using a view template or a navigation controller, um, this stuff is not required. Uh, this is only if you want to push a different view. Um, for example, I'm not rotating uh, the first view. I'm, when I turn it, I'm pushing the second view. So nothing's being rotated, I'm actually pushing another one. And the reason I put animated equals no, or uh, colon no, is because um, when you do animate it, it does the push animation like it's sliding onto the screen while rotating and it kind of creates like a cube in the center of the screen um, so I just put no and when you do put no the user can't tell uh, that you are pushing a new view so it just makes it more user friendly and um, just easier to use um, if you want this to have a title just go to uh, view did load uncomment that out and under super view did load just type self dot title equals first view and now when you load this and go to build and run uh, this will now have a title first view first view and of course the second won't have a title because both of these are gone but um, you know in second view you can uh, I keep doing that I mean second uh, you can add uh, you know buttons um, you can add basically anything you want to this view you can add pictures uh, maps um, whatever you want and uh, it'll appear 
uh, just like in portrait. Of course this button won't do anything because I haven't programmed anything but uh, just showing you that it will support more than labels. Um, so this seems to be all there is to auto rotation with tab bars. Um, this entire video will be on my website. The website will be in the description. You can download this video. Um, YouTube usually makes the code lines not as crisp and clear. So you can download the entire HD video from my site. Also, all source code is included um, with this. It will also be on the site. So if you like this video and if you want more to see more and other um, iPhone tutorials, uh, please subscribe. And don't forget to comment. Thanks for watching, guys.